Greetings, this is the Baron, and here we are again for our next round of the 4th edition Sealed in Our Homes event. It's me versus David third this round, let's see how it goes. Alright, a little speed shuffle in here for you. And I'm on the left, David third on the right with his Chaos Orb mat. And uh, he was explaining here to me that he had to cut his deck down from three colors to two. Unfortunately, we didn't have all the videos of the what we pulled, but he had pulled some sick looking stuff. Here I am with a quick Cyclopean mummy. That's what I want to do. It's all I got in this deck. Little dudes hitting far hard and fast. So I see black and red on his side. I don't know if he pulled a bolt or not. I know he pulled a disintegrate and a fireball, I think. I think he got both the X spells. Uh, very scary stuff to look out for. Here's the Baron's Buds. 1-1 one, one gives something minus 2 minus 0 for the turn by paying a green to Carlos. And still nothing on David's board, so it looks good for me. I knocked him down to 18 already, and I hope I didn't speak too soon. Brass Claw Orcs, 3-2. Can't block anything with a power but greater than 1, it looks like. So, okay. I guess I'm not worried about that, really. My mummy can walk right past him. Or my mummy could block him and trade off. Or I could even use the buds to make it just hit me for one. And just keep getting through for two with the mummy at this rate. So I can handle that. Drop him down to 16. And, oh, there we are. Earth and Troll. And he is just a powerhouse in this format. I mean, he's played in actual old school. I guess only in Troll Disco, really. But maybe you throw him in sometimes in a, a sideboard in a goblin deck. I don't know. All I know is I'm happy to have him. Uh, he's checking the cards in my hand. I'm at three. So that's cool. I can dig that. Showing you my dice life here. Even though I'm not sure you can track that properly throughout the match. Uh, pretty sure I do. Pretty sure I do. And he's coming in with those orcs. I didn't have the mana to reduce his power. So I'm taking a full three. Drops me down to 17. And what's he going to follow up with? He's checking it out. Four mana. Primal Clay is a 3-3 creature on the ground. Yikes. Wow, they had a very versatile card in this format, Primal Clay. Uh, it, whatever you need it to be, it's, it's going to take care of you. Ooh, Killer Bees. Alright, too bad you put that uh, clay on the ground. Because these bees are my powerhouse. They are what I'm looking to do. I, I always say that, right? I'm looking to do this, I'm looking to do that. Well, I am. I got, I got multiple plans all at once. <laughs> oh, I lost track of what's going on here. Uh... I, he's doing something here. Four mana? Is that what I'm looking at? Yeah. What are you doing for four mana? Oh, he's got decisions. He's got choices. Oh, no. Banshee. What a powerhouse. Oh, man. I mean, you get punished for it, but you can deal with whatever you need to deal with. Like, my bees? I, I can't pump them to save them right now. Although, the Banshee has some nice sickness, but I gotta be careful now. I, I, I can't just all out f slaughter uh, in the sky with him. Even my troll means I have to have that red open at all times. My bees, I gotta have enough to defend him. Oh, this is brutal. Okay. Well, the bees do come in for two. I guess I guess I wasn't willing to think about it. I, I don't know what happened here. I don't know why I'm just giving my bees up like this. But that's what's happening. I got my two damage in. He takes damage from the banshee also. So he's down to 13. Oh, and he drops a dragon whelp on me. Yikes. I know his uh, phone says he's at 12. Uh, he just hit the, the, the thing one extra time when the bees hit him. He took three instead of two. He's actually at 13. Uh, Cat Warriors, 2-2 two, two Forest Walk. Not helping me much here. It is still a 2-2, two, two, but that uh, Dragon Whelp is in the sky. I All I have is the buds to deal with that. It's just to reduce it by two. And he's coming in. The buds are not ready. They don't have the mana they need to operate. So I take a full 5 here. Drops me down to 12. Yikes. What a powerhouse. What a... Man, it's like... It's just so brutal. I mean, I don't think anyone pulled a Shivan, actually, in this whole tournament. So I guess the Dragon Whelp is the closest thing you got. Uh, I think someone got a Nightmare, actually. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool pull. Uh, I would love to be rocking a Nightmare, although I wouldn't play it. It'd be a 1-1 right now if I even could afford to cast him. Uh, and I'm getting rocked again for 5 by this Dragon Whelp. Yikes. Oh, man. And a Wall of Shadows. Just to add insult to injury here, I, 
I'm gonna need to. I might have one bolt in this deck. I need to deal that wall of shadows now. I can't even use it on my on his banshee or his dragon whelp or even his primal clay. I have to kill that wall, or else nothing I have is gonna matter. I you know I can't give him a forest not with what I have in play. And I'm down to two already from getting smacked again by this dragon whelp, and he just banshees me for the last two right here. That is game number one. David Third, congratulations. What a game. That was brutal. Alright, let's hope he doesn't draw so many bomb cards in game number two here. And maybe I can get some uh, some footing here. Goblin Surgeon. Oh, what a great card. And I know this is the picture I played, but it is my favorite picture. Uh, I just love that monstrosity he's sewing together. And, oh, I turned to him, the Torok. Yikes. Alright. Alright, what am I losing here? Go ahead. Uh, Frozen Shade and a Forest. Man, he hit some mana. Frozen Shade, I normally swamp out, so... I guess he didn't really matter so much. I had more land, though. That's good. Balloon Brigade in the air. Alright, cool. Three mana, Frozen Shade on his side. Oh, he took mine away and he dropped his own. Frozen Shade. The first card everyone thought to themselves, man, this thing should have flying. Uh, Naf's Asp on my side, which is nice. It can force him to use an extra mana or take an extra damage, uh, or force not to attack. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? Playing a Banshee already? Oh, that thing wrecked me, my game. Alright, do I have a way around it? I do have a mountain at least. It's not like a mana starved in red, so if I had the bolt and I'm like, you know, holding on to it, wouldn't that be brutal if he hemmed away my bolt because I had no mountains out? And then drop this Banshee? Yikes. And, man, my whole deck, everything is toughness one, except my War Machine, war, uh, Diabolic Machine, and uh, Colossus of Sardia. You know, they're all just like cheap tricked creatures. And Dragon Whelp again. Are you kidding me? This ain't right. This just ain't right. Uh, did I have another pull, another removal card? I don't know if I did, besides that bolt. Okay, this is Ashnod's trans Transmogrant. So I can give something plus almost one and turn into an artifact creature just by tap and sacking that thing. And it's like my one defense against a Timmy Pinger, you know? <laughs> but uh, it's not really going to save me against what I'm looking at right now. Dragon Whelp hits for five. Shade hits for two right now. And Banshee, I, I, I can hit for whatever he wants, I guess. And a Black Vice on me. I don't think I'm within Vice range right now. But... Just brutal. What a strong deck. What strong cards David pulled. Uh, look at me. This is the best I had. You know, Naf's Asp. Cool card. It, it sees play. I guess most of the cards... Well, not most. Some of the cards I'm playing do actually see play sometimes. You don't see Frozen Shades out there. Although, come on, Mono Black players. Stick them in. Do it. And this Whelp comes in. I give my uh, Balloon Flying. Sack my Surgeon and regenerate him. So, I saved myself taking five right there. But, uh, that trick is done. That's gone. And the Banshee's still on the table. He could do what he wants. Primal Clay coming out as a 2 2 flyer. Man. What, what am I gonna do? It's, and a Grey Ogre, too. He wasn't done. He still got things to do. Man. There's a swamp. Hey. hey I was missing a color. I got it. Was that holding me back? Am I ready to roll now? I don't know. I don't know. I know I got the two uh, Ebon Hands. Order the Ebon Hands, but that requires two black to cast. And it's still not going to save me here. Banshee for two on my Goblin Balloon Brigade. So, drops him down to 15. Me, I'm at 15. And what a swing. Everything's coming in at me. Oh, yikes. How much damage even is that? Oh. It's scary, I'll tell you that. So I'm going to block the Ogre and Mimic have a 2-2 two, two to trade the Ogre. And in the end here, I'm taking 8 damage. That's what's happening. Wow. Okay. Okay. If I had white, I could say maybe I'll draw my Wrath of God. But uh, one, I did not pull a Wrath of God. And two, of course, there's no white. I play my Primordial Ooze, it's the only other thing in my hand, and I'm like, bro, you got me. I, I can't do nothing here. So, 
He gets a clean sweep here, 2-0. Congratulations, Mr. David. What a game we had. Well, thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And if you really dig me, you can check out my Patreon, Baron Nick. This is the Baron, and I'm done here.